I'm going to be refilming the behind the booktube tag. I know I filmed this video a while ago, a month or two back, but I don't recall where I put the footage. So I'm just going to refilm it today, that way I can edit it tonight and hopefully have it up on the 15th. So I have the things written down here, so let me just go through them. The first one is what kind of camera do you use? And I use a Canon Rebel T3. I didn't think I would be using it for videos when I got the camera. So the viewfinder does not pop out, so when I film videos, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> I should set up like a mirror system behind it. I do really want to upgrade my camera, but that is the one I have right now. I've had it for a long time. There is a dead pixel or something on the lens, so there's always a spot in pictures and stuff, and it's really frustrating. Second one, do you use additional equipment? Uh, currently, I am using my TV stand to hold my camera in place and a post-it note to lift the lens up a bit. But, um, if I'm not using my TV stand, I'm using my desk organizer, and if I'm not using that, if I'm filming sitting down in front of my bookshelf, I use my tripod. It's a really old tripod. I, it was my dad's, I think. I don't know. It was from my parents' house. Number three, scripted or spontaneous? Uh, this one, I guess this is pretty much what I do. Uh, this is the behind the booktube tag and I just write down the questions and then this one is mid-year book freakout and I just wrote down the questions. Um, sometimes I'll write down the answer if it's like the mid-year book freakout and it's like um, biggest disappointment and I have to think about that one for a while. I'll jot it down once I have the book in mind or something like that. So they're partially scripted, not everything scripted. I just have little notes like this and then I just ramble and then I have to try and edit all the crap out. Number four, how many takes do you do while filming? I turn on the on button, I stand here, reach forward and try and focus it like this and hope it works and then I stop filming, I see if it's focused and where the frame is and then I hit it again and then I film. Full through and then yeah. So it's usually like two or three because the first couple ones I sometimes adjust the lighting if I feel like it. I didn't say I'll adjust the brightness, um, I'll adjust where the camera's placed, sometimes I'll try and tidy it behind me. I don't always, sometimes you'll see a very messy background, sometimes you'll see a spotless background. It just really depends on how motivated I am feeling to clean that day. Number five. If you use music, where do you find it? I use music, the royalty free, I think that's what it's called, music from YouTube. Um, yeah. I am. If I'm crafty enough, right now will be a video and I will be showing you how I get the music. Uh, so. You click on a couple of buttons and then you'll get to this screen. <laughs> and then once you're at this screen, then you can go through, listen to the songs, and then download them and then you can just use them on your videos. Some of them, as you can see, like this one, you don't need to um, put anything in the description. And this one, you'll notice that it says if you use this song, you need to like copy and paste this little blurb and put it on the description of your video. Now, sometimes I forget to put the blurb on, I think, but it's really important that you do because you don't want copyright strikes. So I have a couple of them. Um, that's why I just use songs from this list now, that way there are no strikes against me. Number six, how do you make your thumbnails? So. I make my thumbnails through a website called PicMonkey. It's not the best website, but it does what I need, and I just upload a video. Whoa, no. Nope. No. Then I can change the coloring of it, and I usually do this sort of coloring. And then I just get a font, and then I can change the color. I usually change it to a white if the background's darker, and then just or bright color that kind of pops out. 
and then that is my thumbnail. What do you use to edit your videos? So I use Filmora. It is not free. You have to purchase this one. It wasn't that expensive because I got it on sale. So if you're looking to buy one, wait until it goes on sale because then you'll save money and especially if it's just a hobby and you're not making any money and I like it. It's fun. It's easy to use and updates every once in a while so you get in new fonts and things for different seasons. So any tips, tricks, hacks for filming or editing? I don't think I'm a very good person to answer this considering I am not the best filmer and I'm not the best editor. I've been making YouTube videos for almost two years, I think. Yeah, it'll be two years, I think, in October or November. And I don't have as many subscribers as other people who've been doing this for two years or shorter so I don't think I'm personally the best person for this advice but when I watch YouTube videos I like watching ones where it has good lighting but also content is really important you have to have good content you have to I don't know yeah oh buddy oh, I think she went to the bathroom and for editing I would say edit when you're not tired because the other day I was so tired and I was editing the video and I almost left in a chunk of me singing. Um, I was just filming a video and I was just singing to myself in between questions and then I totally almost forgot to edit that out. And yeah, that would have been embarrassing. In your opinion, what makes a good video from a production standpoint? Um, for me, I would say good lighting. I love a good lighting. I like, I haven't figured that out obviously, so I'm not speaking from uh, what I do, I'm speaking from what I see. Um, good lighting I think is important in a video. Um, the placement of the person on the screen, and it's cool when they're up close and super in focus and the background's blurry. That looks really cool. It looks very professional. I've been watching a lot of vlogs lately. Uh, the vlogs I watch are KK and Baby J and OK Baby. I think that's what they're called. I like watching those vloggers. I really like them. They're really, they're fun to watch. But I like their montage. It's really cool how they do montages. I really like that. I feel like if I was better at vlogging, and maybe once I get better, I'll try to do montages. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm doing another tag. I really wanted to do a book review today, but I haven't really finished the book I'm reading. What else? From a production standpoint. Uh, yep. I've been watching a lot of vlogs. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Oh my god. And having to save when from Pippin trying to play with her face, which is just what happened. Pippin, you don't attack when.